So we can run cutters on each individual group, which is what we're going to do. So with that group of gems selected, come over to Jewelry, come over to Cutters. We'll select the cutter style. This second one is the one we normally use, 002. So just double click on that to select it. It'll take a few moments to compute that. And you'll see that they're all passing through uh, the base of our, our stones here. So that's okay. If you want, as I've mentioned previously, you can adjust just the size of this cutter a bit. We can do that here under the settings tab. And we'll come to the, the second tab, the advanced parameters here. And what we'll do is we'll set the scale of these cutters just a bit smaller than what they are. So currently they're 100%. They're matched to the geometry of the stone, these 1.5 mil stones. Let's make it 95% scale. And if you want, you can adjust the diameter of this opening as well. So that's controlled here. Okay, this measurement here where it says 35, again, that's a percentage. That's a percentage of the overall gemstone size. So these are one and a half mil stones. The opening is 35% of the size of those stones. So let's make that maybe 45. And in order to see that, you can see this uh, button here is flashing at me just to preview or refresh that. So just click there. And in a moment, you'll see that update. Okay, so those holes now a little bit bigger and um, the size of the seat is a bit smaller than um, the gemstone diameter. So again, for setting stones, uh, whether you set them yourself or you've got a setter that does those, uh, just allow someone to come in with a burr and brighten that seat up a bit, get that brighter. Um, that's it for those group of stones. So click the check mark, the tick symbol to just close that tool down. And now we can do the same for the other set of stones. So again, they're a group. Okay, so you can just click on them individually and select them and come over to Cutter again. Again, we're going to choose the same cutter shape that we chose a moment ago. And again, we're going to change the size or diameter of uh, that seat. So come in here to Settings and come over to the second tab here, the advanced parameters and the scale again, we're going to drop it down to 95% uh, and the only other thing, yeah, sorry, we need to do is just change how deep uh, this section of the cutter goes, okay we don't want to want to see that uh, cutting through in the bottom there, we just want it to create a seat for us so come to the first tab the main parameters and this is where you can adjust the length of that section of the cutter so that length is governed here okay again that's relative to a percentage of the gemstone diameter so it's 150 percent of the the size of the diameter so if we drop that down i don't know maybe to 80 might do the trick and we'll just come here to preview that and it's a little hard to see, but maybe if you go uh, into your wireframe mode here, you'll see the position of that cutter, as long as it's not cutting through the metal there, that looks okay. So 80% is alright. I'll just change back to my shaded display here. So that's it for that. So again, we can click the check or the tick symbol just to close that tool.